Welcome to the podcast that's been named one of the best in marketing research. Research Business Daily Report is the industry's only daily research video blog. And it's made possible by our exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash RBDR. I'm Bob Letterer for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. S2 Research is Matt Seltzer's new company, and it's got a somewhat unique focus. It's a consultant for marketers about facilitating better, closer relationships with market researchers, and more importantly, boosting the effectiveness by marketing of those researchers. And fulfilling that need doesn't discriminate between in-house researchers versus the outsourced kind. So Matt, who recently blogged about four elements that he says represent the truly unique skill set developed by professional market researchers and which marketers need because they are not expected to have mastered, is going to present that to us today. Matt? Thanks, Bob. So this is actually a topic that it's uh, on my mind a lot. Uh, I actually come from a big marketing background. And when I think about marketing, I think about a lot of different teams and specialties. You know, you got PR, you got social media, you got digital. Uh, and really that whole thinking is about putting the right people with the right skill sets in the right places. The main answer why a marketing team wouldn't have a market researcher or wouldn't immediately think to is because it's expensive. Uh, just like I said, PR, social media, digital, you keep those teams in-house because there's constantly uh, needs for those specialties. Market research comes up at a different frequency than some of those. So employing someone full-time in-house, that's, that's expensive. Even going to an outsource model can occasionally be expensive. The best solution I've found is to find a great partner who can either advise when advising is the right way to go about, who can actually do the work when doing the work is the right way to go about, but really having someone as a resource to kind of help you navigate whatever those next steps are. To kind of combat that thinking of market research falls onto whoever has the time, uh, I just wanted to share four kind of main strengths uh, that market researchers bring to the table of a marketing team. Uh, so the first one that I want to talk about, uh, the number one strength that market researchers bring, is that they know what the project looks like and they understand what kind of data we need to gather. You know, a lot of times when there's a market research question that comes up or an audience question, there's a great secondary solution that exists out there. They can get it turned around real quick. Other times there's, there's data that needs to be gathered or maybe we're talking about uh, qualitative interviews, but a great researcher trained in this can kind of guide that process a lot smoother because they've been doing it for a while. Uh, of course, that actually brings me into my second uh, strength of a market researcher, which is that they, the market researcher knows how to analyze that data. Uh, if you're talking about the qualitative, like we said a second ago, it's uh, about using that experience to extract the, the major nuggets of information from the minor ones. So you really pull out what's important for marketing. Uh, if you're talking about a quant project, especially as we're talking more and more about big data, you really want someone who lives and breathes statistics looking at uh, what it all means, especially if you're talking a big customer sales data database or maybe a, a market data set. Uh, you really want someone who knows what they're doing, looking at it to tell you what the trends say, what the audience says, and to turn that back into marketing. Uh, turning it back into marketing actually brings me to my third major strength, which is that market researchers are really good at communicating those findings. You know, at the end of the day, when we're talking about market research, what we're really talking about is making it sticky for marketers. We want it to, to stick right in their heads and inspire that creativity so they know the facts and they know what they're working with when they go in to put a strategy together. Communicating that research in that way is key. Uh, sometimes it's data visualization. Sometimes it's, it's written summaries. Sometimes it's full-on presentations. The way you go about it is often going to be dictated by the research itself and the end goals. And again, a great market researcher is able to navigate that process and understand what they need to communicate to get those insights to stick. Uh, and the fourth major factor that uh, a strength that a researcher brings to the table is that market researchers know how to measure it all. You know, right now, one of the big things I hear in market research all the time is about ROI or performance or even A-B testing. And, and really what everyone's asking there is, did it work? Did my marketing work? And a lot of people aren't sure how to track that. Well, the great thing is market researchers are trained to track that, especially when they start with a project at the beginning, they start to implement tools and strategies to be measuring success throughout the entire length of the marketing process. And at the end, they're gonna analyze the results, they're gonna look and see what worked. And the best part is they're really good at telling you why things did or didn't work so you can improve on it in the next round. That's your Research Business Daily Report made possible by our exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash RBDR. 
considering the thousands of research executives that we know as RBDR viewers, logic tells us that the average five minute length of one of our videos is perceived by those as time well spent or they wouldn't have spent the time doing it so often. We've also noted that they continue to share our videos both internally and externally. And that is one of the most unique and valuable reach outs that any researcher can make with a peer, but also with a prospective client or client themselves. And believe me, they say thank you for sharing when you do so. So please visit patreon.com forward slash RBDR and become a patron. And I look forward to the possibility of speaking with many of you in coming weeks. Have a great research day and we will see you back here tomorrow.